Delighted in his druid. Yeah. Morning off. Delighted in his drowsiness, Herb awoke, rinsed his face with hot water and soap, and wondered how badly he mistook the joke that he assumed yesterday to be. He remembers vaguely the flash of blue light in the bollocking, emptying his pockets to display which one he kept his product in, then rifling through his wallet to back up what he was telling them. But here he found himself in his own cell, one of his choosing, reasonable rent for a well-furnished prison. Handcuffs composed of tellers of time, ordering him when to hit the floor, finishing at four, starting at nine. Though now, curled in comfort, in contentedness sublime, Herb relaxed into thought. He hated his name. It had become obvious. It's a good idea to keep low when you've got a job like this. Suspicion is flared and inflamed when the letters that comprise of his name fill up the pixels on a teenager's contact list. Still thought of it as a hobby. He rubbed the bruise on his head and said, how will I explain this to my devotees? But he let that be answered by his becoming self and he fell back asleep, hoping that he would never land, or if he did, being there on his feet.